Hi friends, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I have a mega, oh, and Alex, gigantic, enormous, okay, that might be stretching it, but I have a pretty large Valentine's Day haul and my camera is crooked. Sorry, better. Valentine's Day stuff, mostly, mostly crafty stuff, but I've got a little bit of everything and I have some coffee this morning. It's like noontime on New Year's Day, but just, oh, let's not go spill and stuff. As a heads, I don't do anything on New Year's. I worked overtime at my day job last night, was in bed asleep by 10 o'clock, and I'm up and ready to go today. Sarah said I was on a level 10 today, and that just means I'm a little spastic. So, it's going to be a lot of chatting, mostly because, yeah, just because. All right, I have a few things. Number one, I absolutely love this tissue paper for all year round. It's the white with the gold hearts. So I grabbed one, I'll grab a couple more, I'm sure. I was out in the rain, guys. A couple more before the season is over for Valentine's Day, but I love this and I just feel like anytime I gift somebody something, it just says I love you. So I grabbed that tissue, you get six pieces in here. Um, I think it's three and three if I had to guess. And I love it, the metallic. And to go along that same line, I am obsessed with this gift bag. What am I doing with it, you might ask? I'm not gifting anything in it, but what I think I'm going to do is cut it and then make a, like a, a page marker for my planner. I know. Doesn't that sound exciting? So what I can do is cut like two inches, two hearts wide and then two hearts wide, fold it, glue it together and punch it, punch it with the paper punch. Um, and I'm obsessed. So the front side has the metallic gold. These sides are just the matte and on the back as well. And I'm obsessed with this bag. So we'll make it my thumbnail. I'm not that obsessed. Uh, who knows what the thumbnail will be. I always do that and then I pick something different. Okay, so that was it for like wrapping paper decor stuff. Now I have some home decor and I'm kind of excited about this, guys. Um, what Dollar Tree? This is a nightlight. It glows pink, cool to the touch. What? And if I remember, I'll go in my bathroom and plug it in and give us a video of it. I'm sorry. What? Love. Love this. So that's housewares. Um, they brought these back this year and I am not mad about it. Um, I loved this last year. I think we determined that Skittles will fit in here or probably like little things. Maybe mini M&Ms. Maybe an M&M would fit in there. I'm not sure. There's a little hole in the side. But honestly, I will probably fill it up because you just unscrew the top with pom-poms maybe. Like white pom-poms I think would be cute in here. And you can personalize it, put stickers, put somebody's name if you have a cricket. Um, like a lot of things lately, it does need to be washed. There's like a film to it, so I'll clean it up. But yeah, you can put somebody's name on the sides. This is perfect and I love it. I think it's adorable. They had it in pink and red. I seem to be drawn to pink this year. So I got it in pink because I know I didn't keep it from last year. Or it can go in my kitchen, which will be fun. So I grabbed that and then, oh guys, I can't with these signs. What? Yes, I know they're for Valentine's Day. It says, home is where I'm with you and blah, blah, blah. But this, first of all, is paper. So you can take it off or leave it and just paint it. I'm just thinking of all the different crafts I can do with these. However, I've been told that my Modern Farmhouse is going out in 2022. I don't know. And this says home is where the heart is, which I love. I love these just like they are, but these are sturdy. Let me tell you. And the white one says love lives here. And these would be great for a tiered tray, obviously. Just sit them on a shelf. But I'm thinking after Valentine's Day, the possibilities are are endless of what we can do with these. So I did grab just one of each because I think that's sufficient for me. Uh, but like I said, this is probably a good pound. I mean, these are substantial. 
signs. And I like that. I like that they're quality. So I grabbed that. I found this adorable sign, Kissing Booth. This is definitely not paper. This is wood, which again, I love. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I'll take go back and get another one or something. I don't know because the sign is supposed to turn, but mine was broken. Well, that's unfortunate. That's all right. I'll fix it or get a new one. But look at that. It's wood. Dollar Tree, what are you doing to me? Ugh, allergies. So I love this. They had it in pink and purple, all the, you know, usual colors, but Kissing Booth is open. It's closed. I love it. It hangs. Um, it's broken. We'll get a new one of that. This is not broken. I'm dying. Now, they did have it in plain red. I chose to get the polka dots. There is a love note in here, and this says, seal with a kiss, but let's be truthful. And look at the pink gingham on the inside. You can hang it just like that. You can put little love notes in it. You can put your own. Oh, one of the heart doilies would look really cute in here if you didn't want this. Um, you can put it on your child's door and leave them little notes for the month or on Valentine's Day morning. I just love it. Now, this is that weird cardboardy stuff and this is already like bending but I don't care it's adorable and I like that it's functional so I can you know put things in it and like I said I saw this is like a I think it's more like a raspberry pink but they also had it in just plain red which I liked as well but I didn't need a hundred signs I mean I didn't really and then I picked up this sign and honestly I picked it up for future crafting purposes because I think this would be ideal to paint over and do like a muted rainbow or something. I just think this is adorable. I love it just like it is as well. So after Valentine's Day, but if you have a um, compass, you could redraw these lines or just fill these in with any color you like. And I like the faux wood background on this one. It says there's no better match than me and you. What do you think, Alex? Yeah? You think so? Do you like that? He likes it. He does. And then the last sign I found, which again, I'm dying, Dollar Tree. What? Galvanized metal. They had different ones. This was the one that just had the three gnomes. They had one with one gnome that said, I love you. And then they had, I think, one with hands that said, love you or something. But I loved this one. And again, this, this is pretty decent wood. You can pop these off if you don't want them on the galvanized, but I actually like it just like this. Um, I'm not even mad at the bow. I'm not mad at bows, but I love this little, I like this pop of color behind it and all the red and pink. I just think this is well done. Now there is glitter on the beard and there is fallout, but I, glitter, I don't hate glitter, so it doesn't bother me. I know it bothers some people, but it does not bother me. And I love this and it's very sturdy and it's, they're on there really well. Okay, so that is the end of my signs. Does anybody wanna see my broken sign again? Oops, it's okay, I'll just get another one. Um, I got one, oh, I did find the gnomes and I couldn't remember if I had the brown one, but I feel like it's the same gnomes they had last year, which is why nobody's going crazy over them and I keep seeing them in the store. Dollar Tree, we already have these gnomes last year. I need you to step it up. But I know not everybody got them last year, I'm just kidding. Um, but they're adorable and who doesn't love a gnome? And they're gonna go, this one is going in a gift that I'm putting together for Valentine's Day. And that person's little doggy will love to eat it. So there's that. They came back out this year with these exfoliating gloves and this, the loofah. I will tell you, I just opened my loofah from last year and it's fantastic. I love it. It's in my shower right now. Yes, it has a little bit of smell of rose, but that goes away pretty quickly. Although I am always stuffy, so I never smell. No, I don't have COVID. However, at Christmas time, I did have, right before Christmas, I did have a close contact, but I've been more than 10 days and I have not shown any signs, so I'm good. And I actually quarantined myself for seven days. I stayed home once I found out. 
Um, anyway, this is one of the gloves. It's an exfoliating glove and it's supposed to smell like rose. Again, maybe it does, maybe it doesn't, but the quality of the glove is what I like. And when you shower, it's really good for dry skin in the winter time. Just put it on, put some moisturizing soap and give yourself a good exfoliation. So I actually got that for me because I like those. Um, I'll show you some food stuff that I picked up. This is all food and kitchen. <gasps> Guys, I found it. The spatula with the cookie cutter, which I think is a nice little idea, but I don't think they did it very well. Well, first of all, I mean, it, it's just weird how they have this packaged together and all the cookie cutters are just kind of stuck out there like that. It's very bizarre packaging, but whatever. This is for, and I have scissors right here. This is for me. Um, I like a round cookie cutter and not for cookies, but for baking like breads and stuff or whatever. I'm just taking off the zip ties because I feel like this was a very much afterthought. Like they had these red spatulas and they're like, oh, let's add a cookie cutter. So I got the round, I think they had round star and heart cookie cutters um, and a spatula, which who doesn't need a new spatula? So I grabbed these for myself. I probably, you know, I'll use the spatula and then this I like to have to cut, to cut. They're great. They're great guys, they're great. I picked up this because it's adorable. It's in pink. These are little uh, paper cups. And I don't know that you want to bake in these because it does look like a wax or a plastic coated cupcake liner. So I wouldn't bake in these, but they're fantastic for nuts, little treats, little snacks. If you're doing a charcuterie board, um, if you're having like dinner for two or you have some littles and they eat snacks like this, I think it's just adorable. And you get 10 of these little cups and instead of gold polka dots, they're gold hearts. And I think they're great. I had them at Thanksgiving and Christmas, put my little snack in them. I put nuts in them and that it's a good portion control as well. Um, but also if you're doing any type of uh, Valentine's Day crafting with your littles, these would be perfect to put like glitter, pom-poms, glue, whatever, like that in, and they're cute. So these are kind of multi-purpose. For me, they go with my kitchen stuff and as well as these. And these are, they're just calling them wooden sticks, but I see them as skewers. So if you're doing, again, a charcuterie board or for your littles, you could put um, grapes and some fruit on here or wrapped up meat, cheese, and they're adorable. And they have them in red, white, or red, pink, and gold. And so I did grab, they get 20 pieces. I grabbed two because this is definitely an item that they're not going to have out every year. And I, I feel like this will go pretty quickly for folks who like to make and do that kind of entertaining. I think these are perfect. Also, if you're doing drinks, you could put like olive, onion, or whatever you put into your cocktails on here, a piece of fruit. I just think they're adorable. And for 20 pieces for a dollar is a good deal. So I grabbed those and those also will go into my entertaining bucket. I found these and they are, it just says containers. Most likely these will be used for craft purposes um, because I do always need storage for for little things that you don't lose, especially like glitter, pom-poms, little tiny beads, bells, all that little stuff. So this one says, nothing could be sweeter than you. So if you're giving away anything yummy for little, you know, treats for Valentine's Day, this one says baked with love. And most likely what I will do is print a sticker this size and with what's in the container or what I plan to store in it. And then this one says sweet for you. And I like them. I think they're great. Also what I would use these for if I'm mixing paint colors and I have a lot of that color that I want to keep, you can put them in containers like these and hopefully they're airtight. I don't, I don't know if they're airtight, so that's maybe a risk, but Definitely for beads and bobs, if you're a crafter like me, you've got tons of little things kicking around and I'm always looking for ways to contain things like that. So that's what I'm using those for, but they are also good for food. And then I found these silicone baking cups. We're gonna open these up. And by that, I mean, I'm gonna rip this package apart 
Thank goodness for Dollar Tree scissors, which I think I might be obsessed with scissors too. I don't know. But these are just silicone cupcake liners. But you can use them literally for anything, for crafting. If you're making candles, you want to make some floating candles. Uh, hello, Dollar Tree silicone molds. What I would say is if you're going to use them for anything other than food, that you, you don't then use them for food. I bought 12 because I want to use them for keto cooking, um, melting chocolate in here, but also for cupcakes and things like that. Keto food tends to stick and silicone is our friend. So I grabbed four packages of them to have four of these. But like I said, you can use them for really any type of crafting, molding. Again, if you're doing some kind of decorating, you can put paint in here and they're dishwasher safe. You can wash them, do whatever with them. So that's pretty cool. I will wash all these up and then I'll store them. And when I bake my keto muffins, because they're more of a muffin than a cupcake, I will bake them in here and I feel like they come out better. And what awesome too is that if you make cupcakes they come out well silicone is great to bake in if you can get your hands on it because it things don't tend to stick to it so when I saw them I said oh I need those in my life could I have purchased some other things cheaper maybe oh and look it even comes with an extra little paint cup because there's this little like clear plastic to hold them in shape but I will totally throw it on the floor. I would totally use that to like paint. I love little things like this for paint and then I can just throw it away. Now I'm putting together a, a Valentine's basket for my niece, Sarah. It's also her birthday around that time, but this says hearts and hugs and I love it and it's pink and she'll love it. And then I will fill it with filler. And then I grabbed these. They have the mini M&Ms. And I don't think that's a bad price, a dollar, for a little pack of those. Um, I found the Amera cookies. She never told me if they were any good, so I'm going to assume they were. And I got her another one. Just a pink cookie. Just a little sugar cookie. I think that's fun. I found the Chaos, our Sweet Chaos Drizzled Popcorn. I'm debating to get her a second one. This is black and white. It's sweet and salty kettle corn with dark and white chocolate drizzle. I may grab a second bag of this to put in here just because I think that would be nice of me to do that. But I only got one for now. And I know she loved the Christmas blend of this. So I grabbed that for her and that'll go in here. She'll also get presents, but whatever. And then these were new, I know, this year, the chocolate covered pretzels. Um, so I grabbed her, this brand is Oliver's. Um, it is made in a peanut-free facility for anybody that has a nut allergy. These are milk chocolate pretzels. Um, and they are made in Canada. Calgary, Alberta, Canada. And they have the white chocolate with the little sprinkles or jimmies or whatever you call them. And then they had the milk chocolate with the pink. And these pretzels are completely enrobed. So they are chocolate top to bottom. And I grabbed her two, one of each. And eventually this little basket here will be full of goodies. Mm, they smell good. Full of goodies and presents and stuff for her birthday and for Valentine's Day. She has to share, but that's okay. She doesn't mind. And I like to keep my stuff when I'm not filming. I keep things in these containers for gifts and also to keep them from being broken because I have rotten cats in case you didn't know. All right, and last, we have the crafting stuff, which is what I am pretty much excited about. Um, yes, so I grabbed one of these little boxes because I wanna decorate it. Um, I don't know if I will utilize it for anything, but I thought it was perfect. I have some shelving up there that this would look cute on, just painted and Maybe put some like sparkle paper behind it or not. I don't know, but I grabbed this. This is the little two piece boxes that if you want, you can go that way and put a pole on it if you don't want the whatever. But for Valentine's Day, I will paint this up or stain it or something. 
Same thing with these. Um, this is definitely new this year. And these are little succulent pot boxes. So you obviously can paint this or stain it. And then you can put fake succulents or air plants or something down in there. I would say succulent, fake plants, greenery or whatever. Or hang it on your child's door. You can put little treats in it every day on the day, you know, for Valentine's Day. Whatever. I mean, your imagination is really it but i love this one that says be mine with the little b on it i think that is adorable and then the little gnome because duh and the gnome his nose and these hearts are all three-dimensional and the little b is also three-dimensional so i loved these i just grabbed these they had the truck they had a couple other ones but i just grabbed two i was trying to you know trying to be There, I can store it just like that. Uh, no, not buy everything. Um, in the floral section, and this is not for Valentine's Day, but it's the Ofre where they have those big boxes, and it's just pink and white. Um, my girl loves pink and white, so I'm going to use this bow or this ribbon to make a bow on her gift basket. And it's just pink and white Ofre, and it's not wire edged. And you get nine feet of it. It's like a grow grain. It's a grow grain. Yeah. Ribbon. So there's no wire edging to it. But it'll make a pretty tie off. Um, I grabbed two of these jumbo hearts. I have an idea for Valentine's Day to make some type of a topiary with them. We'll see if that if that works out. These are huge guys. I don't, they're bigger than my hand. They're as big as my head. Um, they are also three dimensional, which I love. So they're not flat. And this is that hard styrofoam that I feel like you could paint if you wanted to paint it. I'm not going to, but can you imagine pom poms, flower, those roses that are made out of the foam. I mean, just covering this. So I grabbed two because that's how I roll. Um, I also grabbed some cotton twine. Look at the colors. This top here is like a raspberry red. That is like a ras pink and white and then this pink. But I am loving the jewel tone and the depth of color. I, these are the colors I prefer. So I grabbed just a three pack. I think you get like probably it's 32.8 feet. So you must get at least 10 feet of each color. And I may grab a secondary one. I don't know. And actually, this top is more of a red. It's a dark red. The bottom is definitely pink. And this middle one is red and white. But I like them. And I like this red for Christmas as well. So I've got plenty of twine. I don't need to go get more. I'm telling myself that. Okay. I found the pom-poms. Um, I grabbed them to show you. But they feel squeaky. I don't know if that's, I don't love the pom-poms, but I love the colors, so I will put them out, even though the pink is a little neon for me. I will use them, but I was more excited until I saw them in person. And that's just me, that's just me. I would have loved if they had them in pink and white or red and white, um, but again, that's me. That's a personal preference, but I bought them, so obviously I like them enough, right? Oh, my toes. So I grabbed these and this is, 1.3 yard. That seems to be their distance this year. You'll see in a minute. Um, I also bought a box or a bag. You get 24 pieces and these are just little painted wooden hearts and you get all different sizes or unpainted for that matter. Just different hearts. Now they also have these in stickers but you get way more buying them like this and getting your own stickers is much better bang for your buck. However, the other ones do have glitter that come on the sticker sheet, but I have glitter, so I'm not worried about that. So I grabbed those. I love those this time of year. I grabbed a bunch of these. These are felt hearts that are sticker backed. Red, white, pink. They put them out every year, but I have a plan for them this year. You get 100 pieces. And they come in three, if you can see on the back here, three different sizes. But they are also sticky back, which is lovely. So I think these are pretty fantastic for what I have planned for them. And there will be a video coming up. But which is also nice is that it's not very, ex 
they actually stamped on the front of that. That's weird. They're not the really super thick felt that like stands up on its own, which in most cases is, you know, not a problem. But for what I'm going to use them for, that is ideal. And because they're stickers, it doesn't matter how stiff they are. But these are the three colors you get. And this is the big size of them. So you get a white, a pink, and a red. And this is the largest heart in the bag which I think is about two inches. And then there's a medium and a tiny. So I grabbed several packages of these and I will have a video up with what I am doing with those. This one is just weird to me. It's printed on the felt, the green briar and the number. Look at that, it's printed on the heart. You can also make conversation hearts. Okay, I found the lace. Again, 1.3 yard. Here's the fun fact for you. If you haven't been out looking for it, there are three different patterns that I have come across. And I didn't know that. The first time I grabbed just a couple packages, which is how I ended up with so many. But this heart here, if you see, is like closed in. And this is all lace. And you do get 1.3 yards of it. And I'm pretty sure it's continuous. So here is the end of it. I mean, this is beautiful lace, guys. This is crafter quality. I mean, you would get this at Joanne. And it's so pretty. So I have two of this one. And like I said, I didn't realize till I got home that there's different patterns. And then I grabbed two of this one. And it's completely different. And there's like a little hole, keyhole down here. There you go. And the little keyhole in it. And again, this is great quality lace. This feels more cotton. This is definitely made with a finer thread. This is a thicker thread. Again, though, they're beautiful. I love the romantic vintage vibe of this ribbon, which is why I bought a lot of it because I will use it for other things. But I have two of that one. I only have one of this one and I do like it, and it almost is like there's a rose on the inside. So that's what that one looks like. Again, 1.3 yards, but another difference is the top, and then the hearts are different. So when you're out looking, if you're just grabbing a couple, be aware that there are different patterns, and I think they all came out of the box together, and they were just put on the hanger dealies. So I may need another one of this just to have, because I like even numbers. So if I see them out, I'll grab one more of that. And that, my friends, is everything on my Mega Valentine's Day haul. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a wonderful new year. And I'm kind of excited for some things I have planned for this year coming up. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Bye. I'm not going to be able to get it to show, but it glows pink. Love it.